Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to install the Cracked Sea of Stars onto my Steam Deck and see how it performs. And if you're into this kind of stuff, gaming, gaming handhelds, especially the Steam Deck, emulation, cracked games, stuff like that, that's basically all we talk about, so please consider subscribing. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we're on my Steam Deck, desktop mode, and first thing you need to do, download the game. I already have mine downloaded. It's a ISO format, it's a 3.9 gig file so not very big uh, i could just double click it now i'm not sure why uh, before steam os you couldn't i'm not sure it's, is it because i have power iso installed so if you don't have this function so if you just can't double click it like i can and extract this is way easier of course this is one way to do it but if you don't have this go to your discover store type power iso okay install this program and launch it and then Open, find your ISO, so Sea of Stars, ISO. Yeah, so you can extract it this way. So I can extract it here, uh, extract. So downloads and then Sea of Stars. So I'm going to download it to this folder. Just wait for it. Should be fast. Cool. So now back in my downloads folder, I should have, a, yeah, this is the folder. So I've got a setup.exe. So let's open up Lutris. All right. And then um, we're going to click the top left corner, the plus button, add game, add a Windows game from executable. Give it a name, C of stars. Install. Install. All right, so we installed into games, Sea of Stars. That's great. Preparing Lutris. Okay, let's find the setup file. So downloads, Sea of Stars, setup.exe, install. All right, so now it's creating the prefix folders. So it's doing its thing. And then it should launch the installer. And then we can install from there. All right. Okay, it's doing its thing. Oh, that's that's loud. That's loud. Okay, so turn off the music, and then in C drive games, C of stars. Great, automatically copy the crack and all that. Yep, just press install. Let it do its thing. Okay. It's loading. All right, installation finish. Okay, let's just quit. Oh, what the hell? Oh my. Okay, it's going a little bit wonky. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so let's just quit it. Exit. Okay, it worked. It worked. Launch. Okay, it's kind of kind of weird here. Configure. Let's take a look at the run options, game options. Okay, so it's not pointing to the correct exe. So yeah, let's not. Okay, let's forget about this. That that we just use Lutris to install the game. We don't have to run it through Lutris. Let's run it through our Steam. So open up your Steam. Then add a game. Since we've already installed it, add a game, add a non-Steam game. Browse. All right, let's locate the game. So it's in our home, games, and then C of stars, drive C, games, C of stars, C of stars.exe. So yeah, it should be installed here. Add selected program. We got it on our left-hand side, C of stars.exe. All right, properties. I think we can change the name, give it the spaces, and then delete the .exe. Compatibility, change it to experimental. And let's try to run it. Okay, so yeah, we're good. Good job. Sabotage. 
Kowloon. Okay, got the music. Music's good. Okay, so yeah. Let's quit it. Quit. And then we're going into gaming mode. So let's try to run it in gaming mode. And then we should be set. Yeah, I, I didn't expect this game to be hard to install. It's a JRPG pixel art. I love pixel art games. But I don't think I'd had the time to, to go through the whole game. And then Starfield's coming out. Yeah, a lot of games coming out. And I'm still playing um, Red Dead Redemption <laughs> on my Yuzu emulator. And I'm also playing um, GTA 4. All right, Sea of Stars. So first thing I'm going to do, change the artwork. So I'm going to go with the official artwork. You don't have to. That's just my thing. All right, logo. Icon. All right, I think we're set. Yep, we're set. Okay, let's see if we can. I'm not sure if there's a lot of cutscenes because there should be a lot of story in these JRPGs at the start. So I'm not sure if I can go into gameplay. But yeah, I don't think there's any issues here. Kowloon's actually, I don't know, is this a studio? It's, it's, it's a, Kowloon is a place in Hong Kong. It's the name of, all right, new game. So I don't think there's any settings that we need to do for these pixel art games. I think we can get a constant 60 frames. Right, let's go for the boy. Yeah, the graphics are great. The graphics are great. Alright, so yeah, we can't skip the cutscenes. Uh, but the graphics are really, really good. And I really like the text and everything. Yeah, it's really, really good right now. It's giving me really good vibes, this game. Uh, I'm not as into JRPGs as I was. I was back in the day, like like back in way long ago, like maybe 20 years ago, maybe even more, like Golden Sun, those type of games. Yeah, if we had this type of graphics back in the day, that would have been so great. Yeah, the graphics are really, really good, actually. But even the, the portraits, look at the portraits, wow. And uh, the sprites are like, like they're so much bigger now. Like, you know, I'm used to pixel art RPGs and like the sprites, you know, they're normally way smaller. But these are really larger sprites, but they really look good. All right. Vulnerable. Oh my god, that's that, that. Wait, it has power 100%. Alright. And I only got one move. Okay. So I guess that's why it's vulnerable to hit. But yeah, that, I took a lot of big hits. I took like 12 damage. Alright. That's uh, pretty cool. Yeah, so if you're into this and you have a lot of time, definitely try this game out. Oh, bless you. Oh, so I recovered my energy. Skills. All right, Sunball. Hold A for power. Oh wow. Wow, that's cool. Okay, so do I recover my energy every time I 
every time I get into a new Wait, let me see. Do I have, do I have options? No, no. Okay, so I can't see my I can't see my stats. Yeah, I don't think I can see my stats right now. Right. Maybe it's a tutorial. I don't think I should get my I don't think I could get my energy back every time. So yeah, anyway, so yeah, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Later.